Hello Fox, uh, today we will learn how to create the distribution or developer certificates for the distribution of our iPhone apps. Okay. So first you have to purchase an account from the Apple that is known as developer account and it costs $99 per year. After that you can log in to this site developer.apple.com. I already logged in here. So here you can see two tabs. One is certificate, identifier and profiles and second one is iTunes name. As this is written below in the description of these two buttons, the certificate, identifier and profiles are used to manage the certificates, identifier profiles and devices you need to develop and distribute apps. Okay, but this means that in what happens in iOS, each app is associated with an identifier that uniquely identified. For example, com dot aman dot my first app. So, uh, if I set this identifier to a particular app, then it is managed by the App Store or iOS system using that identifier. And all the things that certificate and profiles are revolves around this identifier. The certificates are required to sign the app so that is verified that this app is signed by a already purchased developer account from Apple and car and can be installed on a particular device so before installing the particular you also need profiles because profiles are associated with contains the information that on which device this app can be installed while in the developer mode Okay, so certificate and profiles both work in a combination and profiles contains the UDID, unique device ID of the iPhones that lets the system that this app can be run on a particular device and it only can, it only can run on that device if that device UDID contains in that profile. So let's first we will jump upon certificate identifiers and profiles. It's opening up, it's taking some time. So, here it is. So, here you can see there are four tabs certificates, identifiers, devices, and provision profiles. Since certificates, you can see there are two certificates one is development, one is production. Development certificate is required to test your app while your app is in development mode. Suppose you may you are making an app and you want to test it on a real device then you need a development certificate to sign that particular app the production certificate is required to upload your app to the app store because it's going into a production so that million of users iphone users can install your app same is the case with the provision profiles the development profile provision profile contains the information that this app is going to be installed on a particular device. Most of the information is related to the bundle identifiers, that app identifiers, and the devices that on which this app can be installed while in the development mode. The distribution proposal profile lets the system knows that this is signed by the distribution certificate and it contains particular identifiers and the information like uh, what your what this app offers that push notification, in-app purchase cloud integration and there are so many features like wallet or other features that this app offers it all the all the information contains in those provision profiles so before creating development certificates or a provision certificate uh, mostly we create identifiers but since this tutorial is based on how to create a development certificate and we will uh, uh, we will cover the a creation of the provision for while in the next tutorial so first we can create a development certificate so you can say okay, see this the certificate is already created so if I want to create a new certificate I can tap on plus icon and then I can create a iOS app development certificate here you can also see Apple push notification services as well set box 
so this certificate is required if you are creating a push notification you are implementing a push notification in R we are not going to cover this the later parts so just start select iOS app development certificate press continue now here it's asking for a certificate sign request so here the steps are listed that how you can so you can see first you can open keychain access here the keychain access gets open now here you can tap on the keychain access and in the service in the certificate assistant click on request a certificate from a certificate authority so here you can enter the email address like you know it's my app and select save to this okay so here it's saying that server we will replace it and this finishing so in finder so it's show that this is placed so what we do we will press continue now and choose a file so here we will select the latest created file and now here we will create now here the certificate is created now we can download it and save it to our system and then we will see what happens so here it is we can double click on it and it gets installed in our system here in the keychain so you can see here it's installed like this one this is the date it expires on because it's created on 14 May so it's, it's have one year validity it gets expired on 14 May and it has a private key associated with my name so in this video you learn how to create a certificate uh, or developer certificate using the developer portal uh, in the iOS app development if you like the video please share and subscribe to our channels and thanks for watching bye bye